Hi guys, welcome back to the final workout of All I Want for Christmas Supercharged. So today we are using our light hand weights again and we are targeting abs and arms in this mat-based workout. So if you're ready, roll out your mat, grab your weights, and let's go. Okay guys, this is it. This is the last hurrah for All I Want for Christmas Supercharged series. So as you can see, we are wrapping things up with abs and upper body down on the mat. So as with the first workout of the week, which was the Monday workout, you will need weights as your prop this week. Um, and we're gonna get cracking into it. But really quickly, two little pieces of bit, bit, bleh, business. If you wanna keep up with me over the holiday period, you can give me a follow over on Instagram at F2D Fitness, um, where I post a lot of useful information about how to naturally balance hormones. So related, of course, to fitness, nutrition, lifestyle, all of that. And you can also find down below the discount code for my 28 day workout program. So it could be a really great way to um, get started, get back into a healthy routine in the new year. And that one is designed to help balance women's hormones. So if you have a bit of a tricky cycle or an irregular cycle, that is designed to help you cycle sync and get your cycle back on track, which can be so beneficial for so many things. Um, sleep quality, mood, um, fat loss, all of those things. So discount code will be down below, but also it'll be here on screen. It's just holiday 15 and holiday bundle 15. And you can find the link for my website where you can purchase that down below. All right, that's it. Let's get cracking. So quick warm up here, come to hands and knees. We're just going to start really simple with a cat cow. Here we go. So hands on your shoulders. Inhale, hollow, really, really exaggerating it, feeling a lovely stretch across the abs. And then exhale, big, big tuck in. So really, really exaggerate that, pushing up out of the shoulders, really lifting lower back. Inhale, hollow, exhale, big tuck in. I like to take these quite slowly so that I'm really feeling the full range, the full articulation of the spine each time. You could potentially take them a little bit quicker than I'm taking them, but yeah, this is, it's morning for me right now. So it feels quite nice to take these slowly and really get a lovely stretch out of it. One last cat here. And then we're gonna go ahead and lower down, hands underneath, shoulders here, push into the tops of the feet. And we're gonna wave back up, whoop, to a cobra. So that might be a full cobra, might take a few to come into that full cobra. So yeah, again, if you're feeling a little bit tight as I am first thing in the morning, elbows stay narrow here though, so we are getting a good bit of tricep. And really thinking kind of smooth and flowing with it. So I actually think this mat portion this week is going to be more challenging than the standing portion that we did on Monday. But yeah, you can be, you can be the judge. Last one here. And all right, that's, that's our nice... Short but sweet workout, or not workout, short but sweet warm up. Okay, we're gonna flip around here. Now is when you are going to grab onto those weights. Come down onto your back here, of course, as always, pressing lower back down into the floor. We're gonna keep a bend in the knees here. Not too severe bend, so keep them out a little bit. Weights, we're just gonna hold a little bit off the chest, and starting off here, we'll do a little crunch with a march. So you can basically just lift into that leg. Things to just be aware of here, make sure you're not just using eh, the head to lift. So this is not a crunch. I'm not getting abs really at all here, maybe a tiny bit, but I'm mostly getting my neck. So make sure you're really lifting from about that line where your bra hits. All right, we got one minute here and then we're just gonna go back to back to back with these ab exercises in three, two, one. So weights in position, little crunch with that march. As you release, 
Just double check that lower back is not lifting off the floor. Don't get that hollow on the release. Also be conscious here that you're not bringing the knee in too far. Just over the hip is perfect. If it comes in past that, it's gonna be really hard to crunch because you're going to kind of block yourself from crunching. So we're just kind of meeting halfway there. Find a little pause at the top. We're also not coming all the way up, so it's not a full roll up. If you're coming to a point where it's actually feeling a little bit easy, then you're probably going too high in this. So it should be right at that kind of hardest part that you're gonna find that hold. I think a couple more here. Yep, one more. And then we're gonna lift knees into tabletop. Keep holding weights together here. We're gonna do single leg extension. So right legs can go, arms come overhead. We do a slow pull back in, alternating sides here. So again, knees will stop right over the hips. Focus on pressing lower back down. So the more important part of this is not the extension, it's the retraction. So, so often I'll see people just do like a really quick retraction. No, I want you to slow your roll on that retraction. Really focus on making the abs do it. Because if it's fast and you're feeling a lot of hip and leg, that's why. The abs have just decided to sit that one out. So keep it super slow, make it come from the abs. And that does take practice, but start making that connection with your mind now so you don't have to then go backwards and undo mistakes later on. One more here on the left, and then bring knees back into tabletop. We're gonna do a double leg extension, split the weights. We're doing a skull crusher here, so hands just coming by the ears with that double leg extension. So elbows stay in the same spot, Again, that retraction, which is gonna be an extension of the arms, we're taking slowly, we're keeping that controlled. And you can aim legs at a slightly higher angle. That's what I'm doing for these. If you wanted more of a challenge, of course you could go a bit woo, lower with the legs, but again, make sure then that you can bring the legs in, you can do that direction change without the lower back pulling away. And I really, I repeat it a lot because it is an error I see people make an awful lot. And I made it a lot for years too. And then I realized, wow, what a difference it makes for those abs if you really think of keeping that retraction slow. All right, last one there. Extend legs out, arms up, and we're gonna helicopter both arms and legs. So it's probably gonna be a slightly slow helicopter because in terms of coordination, um, I just feel like you have to keep it a little bit slow. But if you can speed these up while still keeping them really controlled, then go for it. Of course, goes without saying, lower back stays pressed down. We are engaging a little bit of inner thighs here as well. But really focus on creating a hollow in the navel. Yeah, the coordination, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, is getting me a little bit with this right now. That's because it's morning. I'm still waking up, that's my excuse. But no, it's good for you. It's really good for your brain to do these types of coordination exercises. Keeps you young. Last few here. And go ahead, Whew. release, there we go. All right, weights down for a second here. Go ahead, rock back up. Um, keep one of those weights in sort of a handy position, because we are gonna get back to one of them. But we're gonna flip around here, come into a modified plank position on the knees. All right, so again, we'll kind of split this into just like four straight minutes, back to back to back, um, and then you'll get a little break, and then we'll do our final kind of set of four. So hands on knees, shoulders here. You can keep um, tops of the feet down, or you can curl in. We're doing a full deck tricep press up. So that means we're going all the way down. So elbows will hug the sides, lead with the chest slightly, all the way to floor, press back up. Now, if on that press up, you're getting a little bit of um, a cobra like that, obviously try not to do that. Think of pulling away with the navel first. But if it happens, it's not the end of the world. Um, and you're really then gonna emphasize again that slow, lower, 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 because that's where you're gonna get 
that position over time by practicing that. All right, we're starting one minute here in three, two, one. So inhale, elbows hug the sides, nice and low, full weight into the floor. Exhale, big press away. So really think of using the abs here. The abs are gonna help out a lot with this. If the abs are just on vacation now, it is going to make your life that much harder. Because where the triceps kind of give up, the abs can just hop in. And that really, really helps. So just really emphasizing that slow lower to the floor. That'll be the more important part. And then however you need to come up, come up. Obviously, you know, keeping it as controlled as you can. But we'll find it in the lower. Oof. <laughs> and you're gonna do one more lower. We're gonna stay down. Grab weight in your left hand here. We're gonna lift chest, pushing the tops of feet. You're gonna do a circle here. So we're gonna reach that hand behind, pass it to the right. Right reaches in front. And we're just gonna keep passing it in a circle counterclockwise. Obviously, if you have a bit more space than I do here, you can extend it longer to the side. But I do have as always, that wall. So neck in line with the spine here. Make sure you're lifting using the back and not just the head. Ooh, it's amazing how heavy a light weight can feel when you're doing these. So yeah, I would advise keeping that weight fairly low here. All right, last one here. Going around, put that weight down in front of you. Hands underneath shoulders, half cobra press up. So we're gonna exhale just halfway. Inhale, resist down. Same as when we did the tricep deck press up, we're really gonna think of resisting going down. So it's almost as if something's pulling me up. Ah, oh, I can't go back down. I'm gonna have to press against that. Elbows stay tight to the sides, so don't let them chicken wing out. We want to keep triceps engaged here. Yeah, I think this mat portion is harder than the Monday workout. But they're really nice, of course, paired together because then you get, you really get the complete thing. We get a bit of standing, get a bit of cardio, and then we get all of this really targeted mat work. Do one more here and then you're going to lower down again. Take that white, that weight in the right hand and we're going to pass the opposite direction. So chest is lifted here and we're just doing clockwise circle passing that weight. Oh, good one for range of motion in the shoulders. Really good postural one. That's what makes this so hard with that light weight. Um, Oh, this kind of upper back, small postural muscles. Yeah, they, uh, when they have to work on their own, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Let's be honest. Oh, my left arm on this one is just like, what? You want me to do what with it? You want me to bring it around? <sighs> it's amazing how hard these ones get. But we're going to have a little break here after this one, so... Last pass there. All right, bring it down. There we go. Take a quick child's pose before we get into our set of our final four exercises. All right, I'm sorry about this next one. I know these are not the most popular thing, but I do think they're really good for upper body and abs, and you don't need anything but yourself to do them. So we're gonna start from a forearm plank. We're doing up downs. <laughs> so you can always modify and plank on the knees, but if that's the case, the knees are not here. It is still a plank, okay? We're gonna lead with the left hand first. So you're gonna look where the elbow is. That hand is gonna go where the elbow is. It's not gonna go up here. It's gonna go where the elbow was. We go with the right, we'll go down left, down right. So hand and elbow are always hitting that same spot, which is directly under the line 
of your shoulders. <laughs> oh, the other bit here, forgot to mention, which actually I think makes it easier. <laughs> Every time you're on the elbows, you're gonna do four hip twists. So it's gonna be four, three, two, one, come back through center, we go up, we go down. Just means you actually won't have to do as many up downs. So come into your forearm plank here to start and we're starting in three, two, one. So left, right, down, down, we twist four, three, two, one, back through center, left arm again, up, up, down, down. Keeping feet vertical here if you're doing it from the feet. So you're not dropping legs side to side to facilitate those hip twists. They're just in the hips, that's it. It's not whole body twist, it's not a leg twist, it's a hip twist. This is gonna be some long haul planking here at the end. So um, I hope you're a fan of planks. <laughs> Maybe like two of you are. Last one here, we're gonna stay in the forearm plank, dolphin push up. So butt goes back, flat back, inhale, forward to plank. These would be a little bit easier right now if I did not have socks on. So yeah, if you're slipping on these, it gives you a little extra core work because you're gonna have to think of almost pulling the feet forward as you press up. So you'll get a little extra. But if you want this to be not quite that difficult, then uh, maybe either go for grippy socks or bare feet. Nice and steady here. If you absolutely need to, the upper body is just gonna give out. Take a child's pose, drop to child's pose for a few seconds, and then come back into it when you feel prepared. One more here, and then you may notice we still have to do that second side, so we're gonna lead right here. So right hand, left hand, right elbow, left elbow. We twist four, three, two, one, through center. Only one more exercise after this one. So we are in the final stretch. Oof, feeling the obliques on those hip twists. Keep these up downs really, really steady. So if you need to drop to the knees, drop to the knees. But as I said before, don't let that hand go forward of the shoulders. It's the most common cheat I see with these. It's gotta go exactly where the elbow was. That is gonna be a harder press up there, but it's the correct one. My abs are just about done here. My abs and shoulders, to be fair. All right, let's do one more press up. We're gonna stay up in this high plank. Final exercise is that spider crunch. So you're gonna touch opposite ankle, bring it in. We lift, ooh, opposite arm and leg. Try to keep these slow, push out of the shoulder. Could be hard, because shoulders are probably tired. But try to do a slow touch, slow release. After this, whew, we are stretching. I feel more out of breath with this one than I think I did with the Monday cardio workout. It's just so much <laughs> control. Ooh, not all of these are gonna be perfect especially this stage in the workout. But again, just do your best. Have a play around with it. If you fall out of it, oh well, not the end of the world. One more here. Oh, knees down. Push back to child's pose. Take a little rock there side to side. I like to do palms up to the ceiling to get a nice stretch across the front of the shoulders. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I feel actually pretty out of breath <laughs> from that. Okay, go ahead, bring it up here. Sit back on your butt. We're gonna take some twists. We're gonna take some twists. So inhale, reach arms up overhead, 
exhale, you're gonna twist as you go, extend arms long, twisting to the right. So as much as possible, pushing through that left shoulder into the twist so that we get that full big extension. Also, of course, thinking of spinning from the navel and come back through center. Again, let's inhale, sweep arms up. This time as you exhale, turn toward your left, arms reaching long, still sitting nice and tall here, crown of the head up to the ceiling. Good, come back through center. Let's actually go ahead and sit back onto the knees here. We're gonna tent fingertips behind and then lift the chest, there we go. <laughs> That's the ab stretch we need right now. So really lift the chest, doing the opposite of what we do in those strength-based workouts where we're really tucking in. We are splaying the abs, open it up. And then we're just gonna add on to this final thing. So bring your right hand down to a diagonal. You're gonna sweep left arm up over that same diagonal, lift the hips. So big side body stretch there. And go ahead, bring it back down in center. We'll switch sides. So left hand down, Ooh, up and over. And then if you wanted to finish here with a camel, you could, keeping hips pressed forward, hands down and lifting chest. So watch that you're not just eh, coming back like that. You gotta stay with hips over knees and go ahead. Woo! Release, but feel free to stay in those stretches as long as you want. You can always stretch it more here, but that's us done. That's us done for the month, for the year. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed this series this month. I think it's one of my favorite ones I've done just because using props every week made me have to be more creative and also made it a little bit more difficult, I think. So if you've enjoyed it, give this video a like down below. Subscribe to come back in the new year for new workouts and let me know down below in the comment section what workouts you've enjoyed the most this year, this month, any of that. But I will see you guys soon. Bye.